Welcome back everyone to episode five, I believe. In this episode, we're going to be working on our battle scene. Now, <clears throat> I'm, I'm gonna apologize in advance. Um, I had a few issues with my file, um, my game that uh, I was we were doing together and it got corrupted and I ended up having to kind of redo everything, but um, everything might not be perfect or might not be the exact same that yours is now set up. So. I tried to get it as close as possible, but there might be a few things that are different. Um, for example, the animation, um, the transition itself is all in one. So that's one thing that's different, but um, the base of the game will still be the same. So don't worry too much. Anyways, let's get right into our battle. So the first thing we need to do is actually set up some um, Dogemons. So let's do that. Let's uh, set up our monsters and to do that, we're going to create a new folder. So we'll say monsters. We'll go into our monsters folder and we will create a new scene. And in here, we're going to add a static body 2D because our um, Dogemon is not going to be moving. We're going to add a collision shape just so we can uh, not error. We'll add a rectangle. We'll just move it up a little bit. And now let's add our sprites for this guy. Let's go to our free sample, our battle. Oh, animations, here we go, no. Monster, there we go. And then we're gonna take this guy, we're gonna go to the animations tab, we're gonna go to the frames, and we're gonna type in six. And no, not frame six, H frames six, there we go. Aha, oh, I figured it out, I'm so smart. And now let me figure out the scaling. Okay, so the scale I used is 0 0.1. And the position I use, oh, not, ooh, no, it's not 0 0.1. I will show you in a second. Okay. Let's save this as Pinkmon. Let's go to our monsters, save it in here. And let's rename this to Pinkmon. And yeah, let's take this uh, sprite and recenter it wherever you want. So I'm going to put it right, yeah, I don't know, right there. That works. That works fine. And we're also going to add an animation player because we're going to be animating a few things. So animation player. And then we're also going to add a marker, which was formerly known as aim. And we're just going to rename this to aim or not aim. It was position 2D. That's what it used to be called. And then we're going to add a um, animated sprite player. Now this is going to be for our attacks. So let's create a new animation new frights frame and let's create this and now this is where we will contain all the attacks let's create blast and impact because those are the only ones we actually have right now that have animations so let's click this little guy we'll go to free sample animations and impact and i think this one is well one no one vertical frame and then seven horizontal yeah and let's add them and now we have all the frames for that and we'll do the same thing for blast open that so one vertical frame and then we're going to over here to kind of have to guess yeah i think it's 17 and that looks about right Okay, there we go. And now we have to take our aim and move this to wherever we want it to be. So um, I'm going to check mine and mine is going to be at 8 and negative 16. So it's going to be right there. Okay, let's go back to our battle and let's add these guys. Now, before we add them, we want two things. We want one node that will essentially hold the monsters and one node that will hold the players Dokemon. Okay, so let's take our node and rename this to player and then duplicate it and rename this to um, enemy enemy and for now we'll manually add these guys in so we'll go to monsters and we'll add in the pink one and we will go over here and why is it so tiny don't look right let me double check i might have the scale up to something else Should be one. Let's double check. Let's go over here. Let's take our guy. Okay, scale one. 
Enemy pink mon. Okay, we can just do three for now then. Okay, and technically speaking, we would just have another one for our player. And we would have the player's Dokimon over here. And that's pretty much it. We've pretty much set up our scene, technically speaking. Now we're going to add a bunch more things that will actually make this work. So let's do that. So the first thing we want to do is we want to create a spawn animation. So let's go to our Dokimon and let's go into our animation player. We're going to go to the new and create a spawn animation. Now to do this, essentially what we want to do is take our sprite and I'm going to honestly just do this myself and enter the inputted positions and you will see how this works. So we're going to go from this position from 0 0.1 and then we're going to key this. Sure, we can do reset. We're also going to key the scale. And then what we want to do is move to our default position. So what we can actually do is just reset those and then move this guy up a little bit. Go to one. Oh, reset one more time. Key that and key that. And now what we'll have is this. So it's a little spawning thingamajiggy. In fact, we can actually take the scale and set it to 0 0.01. Yeah. Now let's see what it looks like. Boom. So now it looks like it's actually spawning. Now what we can do is in our battle, what we're going to do is we're going to go to our battle and we're going to work in our script a bit. So we're going to add these guys manually or automatically, I guess, through code. So let's delete these first, go to our battle. Let's add a script in the battle. We're not going to do built in. We're going to go over here and we're going to say bear pink mon equals pre load and we're going to auto load the pink one. I'm going to drag that in. Okay. Now, now what we're going to do is we're just going to add them by doing this. So we can say variable mon temp. I'm going to say pink mon dot instantiate, and then I'm going to get the enemy and add child mon temp. Now, why am I getting an error? Because I accidentally did a capitalization error. And now, that's it. However, we have an issue, which we can actually just play and see, which is this. Ooh, it looks like I did do them earlier. Okay. Let me duplicate these guys then and just green mon and purple. I didn't realize I did that in my previous video already. Ah. I did not do that yet, so let's delete that. Okay, here we go. Okay, so where is my Pokemon? Well, first of all, um, let's open up our pink one again. Go over here. And first of all, our issue first is that the enemy spawn is over here. We want to move him over here. Now let's see what we get. Well, we still get nothing, but we see something. Now what is that? Well... That thing is actually this guy, but we want to hide that, but we also want to play the spawn animation. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and add a script to our pink mon. So let's do that. Let's add a script and let's add a few variables. Let's add health and level. <clears throat> now this, this is actually pretty easy because we're just going to randomize this level on ready. So that way we have a random level. We're also going to call the spawn. We're going to call it function spawn, which we're going to create in a second. And then we're also going to take our aim.attack and then hide it. And then our attack is actually this guy. So let's rename that attack. Now let's create our function spawn. In this function, what we want to do is first access our animation player. Okay. And then we want to play the spawn. We want to play the spawn. Now, what are these things? Let's actually remove this and we'll, I'll show you. So let's go to battle. Now you can see that here's my Dokimon, but it's kind of slow and weird and um, oops, that's not what I meant to do Go here and bring these back. Now, if I remove these, you can see the custom blend and the custom speed. Now the custom speed I set to two so it can go faster because I just wanted it to go faster. So if you want that, you can add it. If not, it doesn't matter. It's really up to you and what you feel is smooth in your game. And that's it. So 
Um, let's add one more thing that we're going to need later on. So in our attack, which we haven't done yet, but later on when we add attacks, we want to be able to hide this node, okay? So we're going to actually do this right now because I, I've already done this and I kind of know, but all we're going to do is we're going to connect that signal, attack animation finished, and we're just going to hide the attack uh, node again, and that's it. So we're just going to attack it or we're going to hide it, and that's it. Now we want another um, guy called, we have two more functions that we're going to add in here and then we're done. So we're going to have one more function called function capture. And in this guy, we're going to capture our Pokemon or Dokemon. Now we haven't created this yet, but we will in a second. We're actually going to create the animation for it. So let's create the animation called capture. We're not going to do it yet. We're going to do this way later, but um, for now we'll create the code for it. So first we'll do animation.play capture and negative one and three. That's just the speed. And then we're going to use the await function. We're going to wait until the animation is done. And then we're going to actually say get parent dot get parent dot flea pressed. Now this is going to be something that we have later on, but essentially it's going to be as if we fleed, but we also captured our Pokemon. So that's something that we're going to need for later. Next up is going to be our function hit. Now this function is going to be for hitting our Pokemon. Now, this is actually pretty easy. All we have to do is pass through an animation because we want to see the attack, but we also want to see the damage that we're doing. So the health is going to be negative minus or negative equal damage. That's it. So we're just going to subtract to the damage. And then we're going to show the attack, the attack animation node, and then we're just going to play that attack that we passed through. So we're going to say aim attack dot play anim. So anim, the animation that we pass through, we're going to play that. So either we have blast or impact. Okay. And that's pretty much it for our Dokimon. Our Dokimon is pretty much set up. Now we can go over here. Let's actually take our player as well. Sorry if there's background noise. I have a motorcycle. And move this to our player. Let's go to our enemy and play. And there we go. Well, we'll do the player dokimon next video or i'm not sure if we'll do it next video or the video after that but we will be getting to that very soon and that's pretty much it for this video um actually i think for next video we'll be setting up the player and then also the ui so stay tuned for that and i hope to see you guys there Bye bye